Hello everyone, myself Pratik Mishra and I welcome you all to the YouTube platform of IMS Gate Academy. CCMT counseling has already started, the registration process has already started. In this registration process, there will be one stage where you need to fill the choices of specialization and the preference of NITs. So today I am here to discuss how you should fill your preferences and what should be your preference for NITs. But before starting the session, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe to our channel. So moving on with this, my dear, if you talk about civil engineering, it is the only branch of engineering which offers diverse specialization. We have so many specializations starting from structural engineering, then we have construction management, transportation engineering, geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering, then you have water resource engineering, GIS, remote sensing, earthquake structure, so many specializations are there. But your preference order should be, first preference should be structural engineering, second should be construction management, third should be transportation engineering, then next you can go for geotechnical engineering, next will be environmental engineering, then you can go for water resource engineering, and last will be GIS and remote sensing. This is the order of preference based on the kind of jobs offered. If you do masters, the one kind of job that is offered to all the specialization is the consultancy services. There are different companies which are like dealing in structures, which are dealing in traffic engineering, which are dealing with soil, which are dealing with environmental pollution, which are dealing with water management systems, and few of them are dealing with GIS and remote sensing. So accordingly, based on your specialization, your jobs will be offered as a consultant. So this preference order is based on the amount of package and salary offered and the kind of work which is there. Right now, if you talk about structural engineering, you see so many projects which are coming up. So first stage of any project is design. So if you do a specialization in structural engineering, you can very well design the project. Even you can open up your own consultancy services for designing any structures. Your sign will be valid to approve any structural design. Next is construction management. This branch has been boomed since last 3-4 years. A lot of people are choosing this construction management over other specialization reason is the diversity of job role that you get if you choose this specialization and after completing your project you will be hired at a very good salary package. This branch can be treated as a mix of technical and management course. It is a very unique program to pursue especially for masters. Then next is transportation engineering which has basically two parts. First one is the pavement design where you design any pavement and second one is your traffic engineering where you actually analyze the ongoing traffic, you do the traffic studies and based on that you provide the solutions. This segment of transportation engineering where you need to understand the traffic offers you a very good job roles and opportunities throughout your life. So this can be also taken into preference transportation engineering. Next, you have geotechnical engineering. So in, after geotechnical engineering, the major thing that you do is, again, providing the consultancy services to different projects. Because for starting any project, the first thing that is done is to check the soil, whether the soil is capable to bear the load or not, whether the soil will not sink or not. There are so many things that needs a check. So again, you can provide a consultancy services if you go with geotechnical engineering. Next is environmental engineering, my dear. All the MNCs right now are working to hire sustainability engineers. And one step towards entering into these MNCs as a sustainability engineer is starts from environmental engineering. So after completing your environmental engineering, if you do your project in environment impact assessment, you have a very good chance to work as a sustainability engineer in all these MNCs all around. After that, you have water resource engineering and GIS and remote sensing, which are still developing in our country. And again, if you gain some experience, these two specializations can offer you a very good salary package after gaining the initial experience. So if I talk about all the specialization as a whole, you can have three choices. First one, after completing the MTech, you can work as a consultant. Second, you can open your consultancy services. And third, you can go for higher studies and after completing your higher studies, you can start teaching in the engineering colleges. 
So these are the different specialization and this should be your preference order while filling the specializations. Now talking about in which order you should prefer or you should fill the NITs. My sincere answer to this is check their NIRF ranking. All the NITs have their NIRF ranking based on the curriculum they are conducting, training they are conducting, then how much placement they have got. So based on all these parameters, NIRF has ranked all these NITs. So the first NIT or the NIT with highest NIRF ranking is NIT Trichy having an NIRF ranking of 9. Then we have NIT Suratkal with NIRF ranking of 12. Then we have NIT Raorkela with NIRF ranking of 16. And then we have NIT Warangal with NIRF ranking of 21. And NIT Calicut with NIRF ranking of 23. These are the top NIT which offer you a very specialized MTech program. You will see wide range of exposure if you enter these colleges. You can even get a chance to work in the live projects because the faculties of these institutes are already providing consultancy services to so many government projects around. So if you join these top five colleges, exposure will be fantastic. Then next NIT is MNIT Jaipur with NIRF ranking of 37. Then you have NIT Silchar with NIRF ranking of 40. Then you have VNIT Nagpur with NIRF ranking of 41. NIT Durgapur with NIRF ranking of 43. NIT Jalandhar with NIRF ranking of 46. And MNIT Prayagraj with NIRF ranking of 49. And NIT Delhi with NIRF ranking of 51. Now these sets of NIT provide you good salary package. The average salary offered by these NITs lies in the range of 10 to 12 LPA. Okay, and also we have seen over the years that placement scenario for these NITs were fantastic. More than 80% of the students who are opting for master courses are placed in either in any consultancy services or they have joined any college just after completing their masters. Then you have NIT Patna with NIRF ranking of 56, NIT Kurukshetra with NIRF ranking of 58. NIT Surat with NIRF ranking of 65, NIT Raipur, you have NIRF ranking of 70, NIT Meghalaya with NIRF ranking of 72, and MNIT Bhopal with NIRF ranking of 80. Out of all these NITs, if I talk about SVNIT Surat, NIT Raipur, then MNIT Bhopal, here you, have, here you will get a chance to have an industrial exposure. Because around these NITs, you will see a lot of industrial belts that are there. So you will directly get a chance to visit any industry, check out all the process that is happening there. And then accordingly, you can choose your master's project. The package offered here also is very decent, again lying in the range of 8 to 12 LPA that can be considered as an average package. Then last we have NIT Srinagar with NIRF ranking of 82, NIT Goa with NIRF ranking of 90, NIT Agartala with NIRF ranking of 91, and NIT Manipur with NIRF ranking of 95. These can be considered as new NITs. If you have less score, then definitely you can get, uh, means you have a very good chance to get a seat in these NITs. Means if you have a score somewhere around 350 to 550, then you have a very good chance to get a very good specialization, especially in these NITs. So this should be your preference order for specializations and your choosing the NITs. So do the choice filling accordingly. So by these words, I would just like to make few announcements. My dear, the Telegram group link is given in the description box. Please join our Telegram group link to have the daily quizzes to have the schedule for our YouTube sessions and lecture PDFs. We also conduct regular seminars and webinars to keep you updated regarding the different things happening around, especially related to the gate examination and even with respect to the other technical examination. So you can join our Telegram group. The link is given in the description box. We at IMS Gate Academy, we provide you with four different types of courses, live online program, offline program, hybrid program, and the self-learning program, where we provide you with 800 hours of live teaching with interaction. And along with that, we provide you with theory book and exercise book containing 4,000 practice questions, well-versed in level one, level two, and level three. Along with that, we provide you with exclusive gate question bank containing 33 years of gate questions in which we have provide you with a detailed solution, alternate solution, video solution with key points in chapter overview. 
With that, we also provide you with 12 personalized one-to-one -one mentoring session so that a student is oriented, motivated and well-planned in their entire gate preparation journey. We provide you with India's largest test series containing 130 plus tests starting from chapter test, subject test, multiple subject test, advanced subject test and the full length mock test with the video solution. So this is what we provide at IMS Gate Academy. If you want to book a free counseling session, again, the link is given in the description box. You can just click the link and fill your details to speak to our education advisory team. And they will going to counsel you regarding your upcoming plans with your career. So this is all what I have to offer and what I have to say is still, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.